finessing. I don't know. This is weird to me. Treat it decent. Yeah, it's a different sort of thing. For sure. Second part was really good. Yeah, you did that really well. Let's see how it turns out. I'm a out. newbie. Greenhorn. Okay, we say. So, our. What was it stock? Six, six and a half. Yeah, a little over six and a half. Horse. Six point five seven or something. Yeah, it was a nut hair shy of factory. And this is our Chinese version. We've just. Let's look at this and see what it says. Gee. It could definitely be tuned a little better now. Probably. Just a little bit. We might need to adjust the carb and do it again. This is first run. First time that pipe's ever seen exhaust. See? Okay. Open. Well, 8.144, not as good as I'd hoped. But this is still a brand new unit. Yeah, we could try some other things. Pop the muffler off, you know. That's still two horsepower gain. It is. That's... It's, it's not even quite two, though. Yeah, this is, yeah, and this isn't even tuned yet. Yeah, we could try tuning it and see if it does a little bit better. We've got a little out of it. Back to the drawing board. Let's see if we can make this a little better. I think we can. We might have to do a pipe modification to get the best horsepower we can, though. <clears throat> well, that's what this dyno is all about, right? Yep. <clears throat> Fine tune it all right here, and it's not us outside cutting by hand, giving our personal thoughts. <laughs> we could actually have, have it on paper. Out there by yourself, and it's great. <clears throat> you get up that door by yourself, man. That's a running son of a gun. You put it beside something else, and it gets blown away. On mine, I thought it was running. <laughs> yeah, because I'm about to put it by something else, and you're not even that fast. Yeah. Okay, that's a really nice looking run, and it even kind of <clears throat> looks legit, but the horsepower is down even slightly from where it was. Really? Mm -hmm. So, so what, are we, what are we power peaking at? 11,000. Almost 12,000, 11,899. See, it says it right there. And it says 7.936 horsepower, 11,900 RPM. So you think I leaned it out a little too much? No, we need to make pipe changes. Oh, <clears throat> I can tell you this. Everything that you run on a dyno wants to be a little richer than we're actually using it. And this because, would be where I'd run it. Because you put you know, a constant load on it here, and so it can use a little extra fuel. Like quite often we'd tune snowmobiles, we'd have to go retune them on the mountain. We tune them on a dyno. But anyway, it's a nice looking run anyway. See that? That's like yeah. straight. <coughs> yeah. And oh. then it could. Yep. Yeah. yeah, let's work on the pipe a little bit, then we'll compare it to the stock run. Okay, we want a, uh, I think we we'll want to start with a different pipe. You know, you want to start totally different? I think so. Okay. So do we need to make the change? Jeez, Jerry. 
Okay, that's going to fit on there pretty tight, by the way. I'll take a screwdriver and put it, it against the cap and hit it with a hammer. Yeah, it's going to be going to be a bit hot. I don't even think you can do it that way. I think you have to knock it straight back. <laughs> you don't ruin our custom. We'll, we'll take off this uh, muffler design here. Is that a spark arrestor? That's a spark arrestor. Yep. We'll take it off and see if it we gain any horsepower. You know. It's right and It's there. just really hot it's right now. Hot. So normally you grab it with your hand, but it's hot. We can beat that right. Oh, yeah. Here, folks. Yeah, Going back in. Gonna need to steal this one. Good thing you're a certified steel technician, huh? Working on a husky. <laughs> With a steel screwdriver. <laughs> As long as you got your steel. Sounds good. Did I see that hit 15,000 on there? Um, don't pay any attention to what you see yet. <laughs> Actually, no difference. No difference? Uh -uh. It's hardly any different. Maybe made a touch less horsepower, did it? Oh no. And it oh. felt better. Okay, I can tell you this. Let's give it a few minutes, let it cool off a little, yeah. and then we'll try it again. So it's not heat soaking? Yeah. They, you will usually do slightly better if they're not heat soaking. So let's just try it again and see. But yeah, I'm kind of thinking we need a little longer pipe. So, so right, like right here, you're, or? Good length of it right there, good length of the head pipe a little bit too. Back to the drawing board. No. Oh, but let Callum pull it. Better shoulder. I wouldn't go that far. Oh. All right. G three nine five. And pipe number two. It sounds like it was a little bit, a little bit better on the brake. Testing pipes, guys. No, on, the, on the dyno. No, this is three ninety five still. Oh yeah, three ninety five. I haven't gotten five. Oh wait, it's at three seventy five. We're uh, That's just for my own notes, right? So I know. Testing pipes on the dyno. As you guys know, this is a little of what's going on. It does take all day to dyno a saw. Get a pipe dialed in at least. Oh yeah. The time consuming thing isn't running the dyno, it's making the pipe. 
run the right way, what we want it to run. <laughs> well, my source now. Yeah, we're actually down just barely. But it looks like we have more torque. Do we really? It looks like we have more torque. How does it compare to the other run? But the RPM is about the same, right? It felt. Yeah, 12,350. Let's see what the other one looks like. That run does look pretty good, though. I felt more, more consistent with my braking and... Mm -hmm. All the Bama runs of different Whoa, stuff. We're, we're looking for G. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, G. We're on the, and that and that could be what we're dealing with. We're trying to tune to a Chinese, you know. So, how many times do we run the pipe? Twice on that. Oh, how many times do we? That last pipe. First one, yeah. Oh, <laughs> lots. Yeah, lots of runs. Okay, we have two stock runs. It says. <laughs> Pipe with no muff. Was that one better? No. No, the first pipe the was first better. One slightly better. Let's try this one. Right well, let's get rid of this. So our 660 pipe is making 7.936 and 11,900 and this pipe is making 7.748 at 12,350 sorry but it likes the first pipe better it does what about the torque on it well, it looks like the first one's still better yep makes a higher torque number right here see that and straight out oh, of the wow. box it makes yeah. it better like well, although the ramp, though, on the first pipe goes almost straight up right here. Oh, yeah. It climbs pretty steep. It yeah. goes steep, and then it kind of tapers up. This one's... The first, the second one, though, has a, a cleaner ramp, though. But if you're loading this in wood, this one technically could be better because it yeah. holds longer, you know? Oh, yeah. And it's a higher torque range, too. Yeah, so... The real trick is with what it's going to do in the wood, though, too. Oh, well, no, I know that. For sure. That's and, the real test. And the porting. I mean, the cylinder. This is Chinese. We... Yeah, uh, one day we should get a look inside one. I'm going to read this. Did you ever take the 372 cylinders, the big bores, and put them together, or still not? Still working on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's in pieces like every other project I've got. Just, just like me. <coughs> I have all these projects. You think one day I'd get something done. What I should do is just come, one of these days, just come up because I don't live that far away. So okay. why don't you go put that one little pipe on your... Because we can't mount it onto here. I know, we were all cut. The, two, the 250? You yeah, go grab it. Let's just see. <coughs> First of all, see if it'll fit. I'll go grab it. Second of all, see if... Well, you know how it cuts, so you'll know if oh, it's yeah. better. So. So this one, the first pipe, the pipe built for it, is as good as we've got so far. And that was how many horsepower? Almost two horsepower over yeah. stock. Yeah. By just a, a bolt-on expansion And chamber. this one's only about 1.7, would it be? It's not that much less. It just doesn't... Yeah, it pulls totally different. Yeah, it does. It's running a lot higher RPM and stuff, so... Okay. Well, that is our dino runs of the Chinese. Now you're not going to be able to guess what we did. Mm. Yep, they're on. Out of the hope. Would we add an inch to the head pipe? Still working on. Okay, we're running it. This ready, you want to stay? Yep, should. Okay, we're running it.
I like that one better. Third time's a charm. It's so Gee. vibrant. <laughs> yeah, we've got a mounted direct. There's no rubber mounts or anything. Oh, you're talking yeah, the saw it, to the stand. To your, it's hard to get a feel for the brake and this with all the vibration going. You know, you can just buy these custom. You know, you know, 10 grand later. Buy your chainsaw dyno. When you get your, make sure that it's got anti vibration mounts. You know, I'll get right on that. <laughs> and why I'm Since your YouTube channel is based on chainsaws, right? We can, we can do it easy. You know, you could rubber mount it easy. <coughs> you know, why I'm at it, I'm just going to go buy a new F450. Ooh, you know, that's what you're going for? Big hips. You want a 450? He's got big plans. <laughs> the wider the better, man. <laughs> oh, no. I love those big hip trucks. <clears throat> that means you know, the $130,000 truck. My, I can remember when I was down in Mountain Green, this was quite a few years ago. Guy came up and he, had, he was driving a brand new, he was a kid, driving a brand new 450 Dewey and everything. And I said, what did you do, buy a new truck? And he said, yeah, I got such a deal on it, I couldn't turn it down. And so he went out to look at the truck and the sticker was still in the window. He paid $62,000 for that truck. And I thought, holy mackerel, that's twice as much as I paid for my first house. <laughs> but that is a deal. <laughs> well, today it would be. <laughs> <laughs> that's half of a new one. <laughs> Gotta love our chainsaw talk. Okay, what are we guessing? It, it sounded good. Maybe eight, of course. Well, we could have decreased it. We don't know. <laughs> we could have went this down. Is, this is the thing that we're after, is we want to know what the engine likes, okay? And so we have to kind of make these modifications just to see. Whoa, eight and a half. Ooh, she likes that one. And she dropped it. We dropped our RPM to 11,650. What's that peak uh, torque? And our torque's up to 3.812. So, that's, however, that's the best that it's been. Yeah, so it did like that. So, that's a good. I bet this would be that this, this is the one. I think it could be better Wait. still. We just we just started down the trip that we need to make is all. We got to go to New York, but we're stopped at Kansas. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting better. How much more time do we want to spend on this thing? Okay, we're not going to spend any more on that. <laughs> we're piping a MS two fifty. Two fifties up next. Okay, that's <laughs> home stock MS two fifty. This is some of the, the some of the R and D that goes into making pipes. Anyway, uh, on to the next saw, but that's where we're at with this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, so what are you, what are you saying? What are you thinking? Almost three horsepower. That's a big gain. By a bolt-on? Yeah, just a bolt-on pipe. Because uh, at stock we were running, we were... 6.5, and now you're 8.65. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so God. this particular pipe, this, this is stock, almost a brand new... Holtz Forma, you know, 395, copy, clone, we've showed up many times. Almost a three horsepower bolt-on game. Yep. Can you imagine what that's going to do with oh, porting man. to match? Yeah, it's going to be amazing. That's good for what it is, bolt-on, three horse. Anyway, there you have it. Bang for your buck right there. <laughs>